Hey Mustangs, welcome to this Tuesday edition of the Daily Update. I'm Jillian Taylor. Let's get to the news. The FDA approves a major step that could help end the COVID-19 pandemic. That story tops today's Mustang Minute. The COVID-19 vaccine could soon be available for children as young as five years old. Vaccine advisors to the FDA voted to recommend the Pfizer vaccine in children's, children ages five to 11. The vote was 17 to zero with one abstention. The Pfizer children's vaccine dose is one third of what adults receive and is 90% effective in five to 11 year olds. In Texas, the first doses will be sent to trusted providers such as physician offices and schools. The assistant director who handed actor Alec Baldwin the prop gun in the filming of Rust is connected to a previous gun mishap in another film. Dave Halls was fired back in 2019, directing the film Freedom's Path because a gun discharged unexpectedly, injuring a crew member. Halls was on set for this film, Rust, in which he was reportedly the person who told actor Alec Baldwin that the gun was cold, meaning it wasn't loaded. The production of the movie, which is being filmed in Santa Fe, New Mexico, is being put on hold as the shooting is under further investigation. Two people are dead and several others are injured after a shooting inside a mall in Boise, Idaho. It happened at the Town Square shopping mall Monday afternoon. Police believe there was only one shooter involved and he's in custody. While they were searching for that suspect, they found two people who had been shot and killed. Shoppers at the mall were forced to either shelter in place or they quickly left when shots were fired. Boise police are still trying to determine what led to the shooting. Houston police are trying to find out why three children were found abandoned in an apartment. The children, ages 15, 10, and 7, are siblings and were in the apartment with the body of their deceased 9-year-old brother. The deceased brother appears to have been there for a long time, and the eldest child says his brother has been dead for a year. Meanwhile, there are no signs of whereabouts of their parents. The children are now in custody of CPS, as investigators try and find the parents as well as how the nine-year-old boy died. And that's your Mustang Minute. <laughs> you know, anybody can be a volunteer. Everyone has something to offer. We have volunteers that do a variety of things. We have volunteers that photograph dogs. We have volunteers that walk dogs. We have volunteers that like to be around the cats. There's a lot of room for anybody who has a skill that they think can benefit DAS to join us. Adoptions, adoptions. You can adopt from the shelter. And fostering is voluntary. You're just taking them into your home and welcoming them. You know, uh, underage kittens and puppies or uh, dogs that may just need a little bit more time adjusting to shelter life, um, help them have a better opportunity to get adopted and um, you know, be able to have a full, happy, long life. Find out how you can help out at DallasAnimalServices.org. Hey Mustangs, I'm Peter Warner here to talk about some crazy weather on both coasts and here in North Texas. After the bomb cyclone raged on the west coast, the northeast is getting hit hard with another storm. 70 million Americans are at risk for severe weather, including thunderstorms, flash flooding, and even tornadoes. Meanwhile, the bomb cycle storm on the west coast was the strongest storm ever measured by pressure. It is categorized as a bomb cyclone because it dropped 24 millibar in pressure in 24 hours or less. We may see some of the effects of the storm here as we are under an enhanced risk for storms overnight. We're looking at spooky season even before Halloween arrives and we'll finally feel those fall temps on the hilltop. Tuesday, we have cloudy skies as a storm is moving into the Metroplex overnight. Get ready for a soggy Wednesday morning as the rain moves from west to east. It should clear up and turn into sunny skies by Wednesday afternoon. After that, it is clear skies for the rest of the week. Thursdays, weather will drop down to 72 degrees with a low of 55 that night. The weather cools off more on Friday with the low dropping to 55 in the evening. It, it will heat up just a bit Saturday afternoon with a high of 73, but should get pretty chilly at night with a low of 45. 
And that's your five day forecast Mustangs. I'm Peter Warner. Going to them then, it's a lot of fun. Honestly, I think it's like meeting new people and like making new relationships that like really change your experience and your perspective on life. Just the friendships and the getting to hang out with out, um, other people and getting to go out and socialize. SMU Best Buddies creates lifelong friendships between an SMU student and a student or community member with intellectual or developmental disabilities. The volunteers and their buddies meet on their own time and attend monthly group events. The monthly group events are fun activities such as bowling. SMU Best Buddies is more than just a club and provides students with the opportunity to make a difference. For more information, go to connect.smu.edu. The annual Oregon Zoo ritual celebrates its 23rd anniversary, and it was a smash. The elephants at the Oregon Zoo participated in the annual Squishing of the Squash on Thursday, October 14th. Local farmers donated their extra pumpkins to the zoo. This activity provides a stimulating and challenging environment and activity for these large animals. This herd of elephants makes squishing these 600 pound pumpkins look easy and later they get to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Well, that's all we have for you Mustangs. Remember, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash SMU television and follow us on Twitter at SMU TV. If you have any story ideas, shoot us an email smutv at smu.edu. Thanks for watching this Tuesday edition of the Daily Update. Tune in Wednesday for more news from the Hilltop. Until then, have a great day and pony up. SMU TV and the Division of Journalism want to thank our underwriters, North Park Center in Dallas, Javier's Gourmet Mexicano on Cole Avenue, and Advance ER off West Lovers Lane. We appreciate your support of student media.